Hey everybody, Blue the Prairie Dog here, your host with the most. Alright, here we are. The final episode of Let's Play Chocobo's Racing. And boy, is this next track going to be a doozy. Chapter 9, Final Fantasia. Look, our crystals are starting to glow. It's blinding me. Quit? What the? My ultra fly head bopper is glowing too. Ha ha! This is awesome, so I did have a crystal after all. No shit, Tails. The time is hath cometh all eight fragments of the Mavithite Magicite have been brought together once again. The gate to Fantasia shall open. What? What was that? What? What? Was that you, Black Magician? Hey, wait a sec. You can speak? <laughs> He's like, oops. Welcome to Fantasia, the realm of the espers. Huh? We have not had visitors from the outer world in several centuries. Forgive me, your majesty. It was my carelessness that allowed this to happen. Oh, don't tell me. Golly, Gollum. You know who- you knows who it is? Hey, King of Espers. King of what? Espers. You mean the legendary beasts of illusion? Yes! He is the great king of we, the Espers. Lord Bahamut. Your strength and courage have brought you all the way from the outer world. I shall place upon you a final trial, to see how worthy you really are. A uh, final trial? I hope you mean racing. Here in Fantasia lie the magic stones of Ultima. Ultima? You don't mean the ultimate magic that the great wizard Ming Wu sealed away? Using a single Ultima stone will cause all other competitors to spin out of control. With two all of your opponents will be made to crash, and three stones will cause all your competitors to have a catastrophic crash. Such is the power that the Ultima stones possess. But why were the Ultima stones sealed away here? If you wish to learn the secret of Ultima, you must master the use of these stones and defeat me. Oh, snap! Now it's getting pretty hairy. Speeds you up for a shorter time. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> oh god. Ah. Uh, 
Maybe that was good. No! Chips! No! Damn it! Okay, well, we're screwed. I can't get ahead. Oh, oh. Ouch! No, son of a bitch. Mm. Damn it, I thought I had. No, 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 no. No! Actually, thank you. No! Whoa! Alright, I'm back in third place. No, son of a bitch. Hacks. Hacks, hacks, hacks. Hacks, hacks. Das. Uh, all right, restarting this. We have to do this. We have to beat them. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Mm. I can't. Uh. Whoa, control me. Who, who? Uh, ah, son of a bitch. That was wrong. I didn't go off the edge. I didn't go off the edge. Wow. What the? No way. You lie. Line. Uh, let's restart. <sighs> ah. No way. Lying liar, liar. I totally made it out. No! Son of a bitch! I totally... Yeah. Freaking motherfuckers! No! 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 Freaking hell! Let's try this again. Son of a bitch. Who the hell did that? Uh, I can't do this, man. I can't believe this. This is so freaking annoying. 
Ah, wait, didn't I get him with the freaking ultimate? So why is he still... So why was he still going? I need to beat him. <laughs> no, 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 no. What the? Wasn't he spinning out? Yeah. Hmm. Dang it. Hmm. <laughs> Got him. Huh. Ah. Oh. You can't catch up to me. Ugh. But gobs can catch up to you. the course during victory lap. Um, only here on, uh, Blue's Let's Play. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Well done. You have passed my final test. Do you know why the Magicite Crystal was broken into eight fragments? Because the great magician Ming Wu saw that it was the cause of too much warfare. That is true. Mankind has fought over the Magicite for aeons. Only so that they could open the portal to Fantasia and exploit the magical power of the espers for their own selfish purposes. Tisks. Those greedy humans, I tell ya. You ought to talk. Fearful for the future of humans, the great magician Ming Wu and I chose to break the magicite crystals into pieces and scatter them throughout your world so that the possessors of the eight crystal shards would not gather together 
and opened the portal to take hold of Fantasia. We gave the eight crystals the behemoths to guard over. It was also at this time that the Ultima Stones were brought here and sealed in this realm. This was done so that humans could no longer threaten our living things with the power of Ultima. So that's why the Ultima Stones were sealed away here. It was done out of loving concern for humans by the great Ming Wu and the Lord Bahamut. Correct. But now I look at you children and I am pleasantly surprised. Chocobos. Moogles. Golems. Goblins. And humans. All from different species that have been warring over the possession of the Magicite from time eternal. But now, you have come together from all over the world in peace and harmony. During the centuries that the portal to Fantasia has been sealed, the outer world appears to have changed for the better. From this day forth, we shall keep the portal between our worlds open, so I can watch over your world's future as well as ours. So, um, what's going to happen to the Magicite crystal then? It is no longer needed. Its purpose has been fulfilled. Fantasia shall exist in harmony with your world from this day on. No! He can't do that! What was all that journeying and racing for? Oh, come on. What an experience we had. We got to meet Lord Bahamut, the King of Vespers, and change our world's destiny. Quee! Well, the show's over. No use hanging around here, I suppose. Oh, Lord Bahamut, please watch over the world so that all living beings continue to live in peace. We promise to try and do our part. Quee! <laughs> and here comes the most amazing part of this game. Just so, ladies and gents, Chocobo and his friends' adventure had come to an end. They went back home to live with us human folk, and everything is going just hunky dory. Well, there was one exception. A certain Moogle didn't get the happy ending he wanted. I didn't travel all that way just to come back empty-handed. I could have become filthy rich by selling that darn Magicite crystal. Give it up already. Shut up! I liked you better when you didn't talk! Oh, Mog. Well, that's it for my story, folks. When we meet again, I'll tell you another story about good old Chocobo and his pals. I'm going for a test flight of my new whirly bird now. Who knows, maybe we'll be flying over your town real soon. If you see my plane, don't forget to wave your hands and say howdy. Chocobo Mog and the rest of the gang are gonna be coming along too. So till next time, adios amigos, yeehaw! Ah, that was awesome. Happy ending. Ah, oh, this is so. Oh, I love this part. There's Sid working with the machine to make something else. Who knows what he's gonna make.
Gobs, you damn jerk, and you're mugging me, you keep mugging me, and then I'm gonna beat you up. Yeah. <laughs> he found something. He need the jet blades. It's BM. <laughs> That's weird. He turned into a flame. And then, what the heck is that? And he turned into his hat. Oh, it's gone. Oh, chubby chocobo. Stop eating! See what you did? Ugh, he doesn't care. <laughs> Behemoth and his child. Just swaying my head to the music. UFO Chocobo Mog Behemoth Golem Chubby Chocobo Gobs 
Bien. White Mage. And Bahamut. And Sid. Haha. <laughs> Aww. Now that's a happy ending. See you again. Definitely indeed, folks. See you again in our next Let's Play. Hopefully it'll be a good one. This time your score was... Eighty-five. Shit. Oh well. <laughs> okay, uh, next time, ladies and gents. Well, well, I don't know. Do something awesome. Don't know what the next Let's Play is going to be. Uh, maybe Chocobo's uh, Dungeon, Mystery Dungeon 2. Um, but uh, I want to beat that one on my own before I do a Let's Play of it. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. All right. Until then, till then.